Preserving our history and telling our city's story, it's an important job for anyone, and it has been the special responsibility of one local cemetery for more than 150 years. Atlanta News First reporter Sawyer Bussey helps uncover Atlanta's story one gravesite at a time. There are people who believe that cemeteries are scary spaces. There are also people who believe that cemeteries are full of stories, full of history who believe that the more you learn about the lives of the people who lived in your community before you, the more you end up learning about your own story. And this is the city's original cemetery. Um, since 1850, Oakland has been here. Here at Oakland Cemetery, the dead help the living. Oakland is a city park. This is a place of peace. We love to celebrate life by communing with the dead, just as the Victorians did. The preservation of this space is helping to uncover new pieces of Atlanta's history. There are stories here, 70,000 of them across 48 acres. And this is one of my favorite places in the entire in the entire property. Um, it's the gravesite of Carrie Steele Logan, who was born enslaved um, in the 1830s. Stories that are told to visitors who might never hear them otherwise. Worked on the on on and near the railroads in Atlanta, and actually um, founded the first black orphanage in the entire country. Graves that are maintained despite centuries of wear. We got a purpose not just to make money. All because of the work of teams of people who care about this space. Really truly believe that learning these stories helps us, um, you know, understand not only who we are today, but maybe how we can chart a more just and equitable future. This isn't just a place where people come to learn about the past. Sometimes it's a place where people come to take a walk or go to an event or get married. We have more, more weddings than funerals here at Oakland. Yeah, this isn't your average cemetery. And as Halloween rolls around, it might just be a good time to remind you that death doesn't have to be so scary after all. If there are any spirits here, we think they're um, pretty happy ones. Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.